Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Taylor Burks Road of the Show series here on MLB 23 PS5. I'm so excited to start this episode because we start our journey with the Washington Nationals. I have just switched up Taylor's glove. It's a little colorful, but it looks pretty good, I think. Uh, a little more American. And then I do want to switch up his cleats now that I'm looking at them. Is that the navy right there? What's the tongue color? Can we switch that to the navy as well? Yeah, there we go. So Taylor makes his debut with the Nationals today. Um, and we're going to be playing in the NL East from now on. We haven't played in the NL at all. We're going to start us off in Philadelphia. Um, and we need to get used to these lineups we're about to face. So Wes Ward, uh, Jason Hernandez, Cam Collier is the best player on this team. He is quite good. Uh, but after that, it kind of drops off pretty hard. So this isn't a great team. Uh, and we need to get used to our lineup as well. Some good players in here, hoping we can uh, have a good day. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. We are the opening day starter once again on the road. I think I want to wear... Oh, these are, these are kind of fire. Let's wear those. Yeah, those are fire. All right. <sighs> our Nationals career starts now. All right. I've got to go change this to show the sim screen. And we are underway here in Philadelphia. Washington Nationals fans should have high hopes this year. I think this team is going to do something. And John Bauer gets us started with a two run bomb. Two nothing. Wow, we definitely look different, but we are off. So here is how I want things to go this year. We only got 16 wins last year. I want to get 20. I want 20 this year. I know high hopes for a new team, but I want it. I want to make the playoffs at the bare minimum. And I want to have some success in the playoffs, but we'll see. Great changeup, one down, and our first batter as a national is a strikeout. Here's how we line up on defense. Sean Bauer has a good arm behind the plate, at least. Our infield is pretty solid with Tamar at second being the star. Luciano's got a strong arm, and our outfield isn't bad by any means. Good reaction out there with Rufus Griffin. Good left fielder, and Kevin Alcantara is a fine center fielder. Better than our defense was now, with the Mariners. Jason Fernandez. That's in there. They made no additions over in Seattle, and that was the reason we left. They were ranked 29th. And I just, I don't know, man. We got that championship for him, but it's time to move on. Good pitch. Two down. Anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup, we exercised our. Got to be feeling pretty good. Or we declined our player uh, option. You think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. We still get number 29, and we're here. Cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo, with the Nats now. So 0 2 to Collier. It's a 10 pitch, three strikeout inning. Great start to the year. Gonna have to develop these relationships with the Nationals. We're gonna get one more. Rivera drive one, drives one in. First offering misses the mark. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Gotta stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Next one is off the play, and it's 2 0. Dave Lawrence assigned to work home plate in this one. 
good umpire Boog. very fair very consistent now so when I say I need to develop those relationships what I mean by that is currently we have our base attributes going into play and if you make friends with people you get confidence boosts with every position on the field but catcher you get like a one to two percent confidence boost that actually does come into play and they can go you can get it up to like 50 or 60 percent boost with the catcher though you can get confidence as well but they also can get you control boosts which is a huge deal so right now we don't have a control boost but if we get our first level of control we get a plus five to control if we get our second level we get a plus 10 to control and if we get up to the max level we get a plus 25 in control so the plan is to get up to that obviously five strikeouts for taylor wow well, that's always the key to he is off to an insane to start here. I promise I haven't changed the difficulty at all. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to Not a the best the pulse. Before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. So 1-1 one, one to Lawrence Newcomb the one on the ground and ball. foul. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. One, two, the curveball. Got him. Six Ks and two innings for Taylor. Wow, what a start. Holy cow. We're going to get this. And we get another run. We get three more in the inning. So it's six nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now Abraham if we keep this up, we'll get that friendship boost real soon. <laughs> Not really. It'll take three or four games usually. But strikeouts do move it a lot faster. That's not a strikeout. That is a double. So played and gotten in. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here. But you'll take that swing and that will hold every time. Johnny McKenzie. McKenzie at the plate now. That's ball one. Edge of the zone for a strike. And the count even one and one. Lamb leads off second with nobody out. Wanted that one a little more out of the zone. And a ball and two strikes. Good that pitch. One down. To finish him off. Just absolutely Taylor right back mound. at it with the strikeout. On his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack. The middle, Termar is going to get there. But, oh, we got him. Okay. Hey. That's why I have a good fielding second baseman. Just got him. Tomorrow with stronger arm for second base and gets to the ball quickly. And so two down here for West Ward, strike one. Two outs with a runner at third. That misses. One and one. One and one. Just missed. Pitches downstairs. Don't mind a walk here, but I'd rather not. And there's a strike. So three, two, two down. The runner on third. Got him. Cutter is out of the zone, but it was gross. Into the third. Philly strand one. They still find themselves down. Six. Bottom of the fourth, leading off Jason Hernandez. The wind of the pitch. Eight strikeouts in three innings so far. What a day for Taylor so far. Those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Rivera calls it in, and there's one away. Cam Collier stands in for the Phillies. 
Check swing went around. It's 0 1. Dang, Collier's got almost 1,800 hits. And that's through there for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. O2 to he Cam Collier. He's not ready got him. Trigger, two down. Not worried if he gets to an O2 count. Goes down so there's strike out nine. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Drew Belanger. And a strike in there. O1. Just hitting his spots. And getting a pop up here. Tamar is under it. Four scoreless so far for Taylor. Nats lead it 6 0. And we're going to get one more in with a Marco Luciano RBI triple. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in. Vincent Park. Seen us killing it. Early down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time, and even shrink it down smaller. So we start year 14. It means we have seven full seasons of Taylor Brooks left, assuming we do a normal 20-year season or 20-year career. This one popped up. Carter makes the grab. One this. Season is starting on July 10th, which means we'll be done with this and playoffs if we go deep into the playoffs around August 20th. So we're making good progress. I mean, you can do some math there. You'd be done by October 1st ish for year 15. Then you're down to your final. You know, five years from October 1st to, to March. Right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Fly ball. And it's easily playable for... Pulls it in, and two away. Oh, Alcantara. Kevin Alcantara. So digging in, Abraham Lamb. We're getting names. And we'll get there. there for strike one. Oh, I'm very excited. I hope everybody's okay with the move. I, I know it was abrupt, and I was talking about some future stuff with Dang. Abraham Lamb might just have two doubles now. And he does. I was talking about the future with the Mariners, but I, I wanted us to sign somebody. We just never did. We really didn't have much potential on that team, so it is what it is. That's going to be a run. How unfortunate, man. A weak hit. And so 7-1 to now. Dang it. Well, we've never won an NL Cy Young or... MVP. That's what we're going for this year. So the one run won't kill those chances. It's okay. We still hold a seven to one lead. Back here in Philadelphia, batter now, Wes Ward. Wes Ward. Brooks back to work. Swing and a ground ball out to short. It's in and out of his glove. Oh, and Marco makes an error. And it's an E6 to start us off here. And then a weak hit. So first and second, nobody out. On the ground, right side. And another ball off a glove. Taylor's going to get to the bag in time, so we get one, but that cost us a double to play. So another fielding mishap. Hurting the Nationals. And he goes deep to right. It's easily going to get a run in and make it 7-2. to two. It's not an earned one. But it is seven to two. Stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Two balls 
no strikes to count. And so one of the big things I'm excited for with this team is the talent of our bullpen. We've got a few relievers down there at the bottom that can pick Taylor up really well. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. He's going to try. He's there. And that's on me. But there's that blocking not being great. Oh, wait. No, the blocking is 85. That was on me then. Sorry. 3-2. We will walk, man. So. A troubling sixth year for Taylor. And it's off another glove. He's going to get to the bag this time in time. Into the sixth. Goodness gracious, man. We give up one uh, an unearned run. We still have a five-round lead. Come out here for the seventh. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's gonna see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch. This lamb guy is two for two with two doubles. By far having the best day out of any of the Phillies. The next offering misses, and the count is one and two. And another ball. And he deals. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And now the right fielder, Johnny McKenzie. In there for strike one. Oh one's the count. They say you went. No ball, two strikes. Oh, two. And a Got him. Miss. Down on strikes. So That's two down. Glenn in for the 11 finish. Ks on the day. First Such good work from Taylor. On the ground. The it is in the hole. Oh. The Phillies have gotten a few weak hits today for sure. Turns over. Wes Ward stands in for the Phillies. And first offering is fouled off. Harrington off of first with two away. They say you win. No ball, two strikes. Hey, two away now. Ball one there. It's a good take. One and two. One two. Mm. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Yeah, the righty deals. Good pitch end of the seventh. That'll do it for Taylor, most likely. A great opening day and a great first start. Oh, never mind. Hello. Now it's the second baseman, Jason Fernandez. So we will come back out for the eighth. First pitch just misses. Worlds. Still out there to pitch Back to the, the top of the lineup here with a 2 3 4. Really on his game in this one, and at this point, he wants to finish what he started. And a 1 1. And that one fouled off. Are y'all. Oh, that's the wrong way to start that. I am super excited for the new series coming to the channel. Coming July 16th, you will see our first NCAA episode as we say goodbye to Alex Parker, our shortstop series who has gone for 20 full seasons, or oh, getting at 20, we are close. Nearly 840 episodes. And we will call it a career with him. Taylor's getting up there as well. He's not going to get to 800 or anything, but he's going to get a he's going to get a long ways. And now the count is even. Just find the zone here for Collier. 
up the middle. That's more than up the middle. That is going to be in the gap up against the wall. And a one-out double is that it for Taylor. No, not yet. It's a good piece of hitting there from Collier. That's fair. There's another earned run. It's just a single, but it is now seven to three. Okay. We are still gonna pitch. Hey, Blue doesn't want to take me out, or Skip doesn't want to take me out. Vincent Park's 0 for 2 today. Make the pitch here. Yeah, there's a ball. Park running. I think we can get a double play here. Oh. Uh, this isn't a double play ball. Mm. Missing spots pretty poorly now. One, two to Park. Fouled off. No give. It's way out. So Park really making him work. And he's going to pop it up finally, and then it'll be two down here in the eighth. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Lawrence Newcomb stands in for the Phillies. In there, and it's 0 and 1. So it'll be, if we can get this out, it'll be eight innings of three run ball, but two runs earned. So a little over a two ERA. But a lot of strikeouts, and it's been a, it's been a successful first day. Had some unfortunate hits, too. It's a ball and two strikes. Some balls just finding the, the zone or the gaps. Really tighten up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two two. Big curveball, and Taylor gets him. That'll do it for his Nationals debut, actually, this time. Uh, we are going to go up 9-3 as John Bauer, second homer. Melvin Wheat, the pitcher, and he's going to give up two. So we get to Omar Chavez. Chavez. 1-0, baby. Eight innings, seven hits, one walk. To no, not three. Two earned. But 14 Ks. John Bauer with a two-homer day. Marco Luciano drove in two as well. He also made an error. Uh, but a good start to the year for the Nationals. And we are very happy with that. I cannot wait to see just what happens uh, through the rest of this season. I'm so excited um, for this team. And I just want to check in and see what the Mariners did. Nothing. Okay, they brought in Chase Lima. So, and Matt Witt. Okay. And Christian Mena. But they waive Ramon Gonzalez, who regressed. Same with Rosenberg. Chance Davis is still getting paid an absurd amount of money to be in AAA. They don't really have any potential there. Nothing here. Jose Hernandez still. And Derek Preston. Is this the guy with five fastballs now? I think it is. Just he was that way in Alex's series. Uh, Chris Larson is still the catcher, and Floyd Beavers is as well. Oof. Robbie Schwartz got a little better. I mean, we were hoping he would, um, but not much. Nolan Gorman. Okay, that's not a bad signing. A 35-year-old on a one-year deal. And they wave Henry Feliz, and then Joshua Erdman is trying to make his way up and uh, be a good ball player. Third baseman, they lose. Oh, no, they did not lose Orojo. He regressed big time, though. They have this Mariano Fuentes guy who could be decent in the future. He's going to be decent in the future. And then Rico Vaccaro is picked up. Gunnar Henderson's down to an 88. I still love you, Gunnar. I'm so sorry I had to leave. Uh, Jeff Morrow. I don't know who you are. Barack Robertson. Uh, wow. Okay. The outfield. Oh, it, the outfield is really bad. Oh, 
yeah, I'm so glad I left. If you like the video, oh, I also wanted to check on a couple other guys so that we know what Chance is doing. And then here is Cam Jackson, a 97 overall at the age of 32, now World Series champion. Good for him. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. And then Max Hamilton, an 82 overall at the age of 32. I hope he makes it to the Hall of Fame. I don't know, man. He's got one more good season in him right now. We will see if it all works out for him. I hope it does. Uh, I don't I don't know about Alex Parker anymore. Yeah, he's down in double A. So his time in the MLB is over. He ends at 2,100 hits and 251 home runs. Good career. Then Adam Turner is by far our best creative player that got transported over. He's just had the best career. 2,439 hits. 343 home runs, a 942 OPS, still in 420 bags, the best fielding center fielder in all of baseball, and he is still a 99 overall playing that final year of his contract. Somebody's going to get suckered into signing him for a lot of money. They also have Brandon Sanderson, the author. Uh, <laughs> anyways, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks, uh, episode, I don't know, 470-something in the books.